everybody and welcome back to another tutorial from my Simply series range of books. Today I'm going to be taking you through Ragtime from my Simply Jazz Blues and Rag book and I do hope you like it. If you want to know where I got the book from it will be in the, there'll be a link directly above my head or there'll be a direct link in the description bar underneath this video. So if you want to know how to play Ragtime from my Simply Jazz Blues and Rags then please keep watching. The first thing I'm going to do is just start off by playing it all the way through for you then I shall take you through parts of the music. So I think the hardest the hardest two parts are going to be the rhythm, getting the rhythm right for this because it's ragtime so it's going to be sort of a syncopated sort of rhythm and all this funny stuff that's going on on sort of the last two to sort of the last, the, the bottom two or the bottom three lines there. So let's talk about the rhythm first. So you've got a syncopated rhythm. That's all, it's pretty much the same rhythm. When that rhythm does play, it repeats quite a few times. So it's gonna be um, quick, long, quick, 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 long. Quick, long, quick, 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 long. If you wanna think of it like that, so. So again, the whole purpose of this video is so that you can keep playing it back and you can hear how I'm doing the rhythm and you can help, you can learn the rhythm, that will help you learn the rhythm and looking at the music as well. So that's pretty much it. That, Like I said, that repeats all the time and then the easier bars that you've got just either have sort of crotchets or, or whole notes in them or qu quavers and quarter notes, that kind of thing. Um, and then you've got obviously your, your semi-briefs. So I think that's fairly self-explanatory. Let's move on to just bar 11. You've got a back C for a C natural. So that's gonna be a second finger in its back position. And then you've got a normal D and then you've got a D sharp. But the D sharp is just slightly above where the D is. So you can just slide that up. The next note in bar um, 12 is gonna be an E. So you can either play that as a four, which will be jammed in right next to it. By the time you've done that D sharp, the four will be jammed in right next to it. Or you can do an open E completely up to you. I did a four just to keep it all on the same string, but it's totally up to you. And then for the next part, it is just a case of getting your head around just all these accidentals and just knowing where they are. So the first thing you've got um, that you come across uh, in bar 13 is the last D is a D sharp, but technically we've already done that on sort of the line before where you had a D, which was in its normal third position, and then a D sharp takes you up just that one step. Um, and then you've got an open E, then you're, you've got a back two for a C, an open A, a G, an F sharp. So that F sharp is gonna be stretched. That's gonna be right next to the third finger. Then you're back to a G. Okay, that was bar 14. Now we're on to 15. Um, at the end of bar 15, you've got another D and that D sharp thing. So we've already done that. Um, the next bar, you've got an F sharp, but that's nothing unusual. That just means it's just a stretched, you've got a finger in a stretch position or right next to the third finger. Now, bar 17 is probably where the fun starts. So if I just give you a close up of, of bar 17. So you've got a three on the D, a three for the D, a back two for C natural another three for the D. Then you've got a stretched, you've got a D sharp, which is a stretched D for D sharp. And then you've got a D natural. So instead of going, that's not great to do. So I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna substitute a second finger instead, just for the time being. So that makes it a lot easier. So if I do bar 17 again, as opposed to, that's not so great to do, especially when it's going fast. So the next bar is, so you've got a four and you've got that D sharp there and back to the four. 
so that's nice and easy there for that last little bit and then you finish off with the last two bars so that's probably just the most complicated part that you've got there but don't use don't use that second finger for that D substitute that in otherwise you'll be sliding the third finger all over the show and it's going to be quite difficult it's not going to sound great that's so much better and that's nice and clean and your second finger is it slides in right behind the third finger anyway so you haven't actually got to fumble around or find where it's got to go so that's pretty much it for ragtime i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to check in the description bar directly underneath this video for all the other book series simply gypsy um simply jigs and reels simply country simply romantic or that kind of thing they will all be directly underneath and thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one